glad to have you with us today. Thank you. Do you want to tell us a little about what you have here? Uh, it's a study um, of Bourbon King, who is a very famous uh, thoroughbred, not thoroughbred, standard bred. Um, it was painted by George Ford Morris, and I believe it was a gift to Pan Pansy Yount, who um, had thoroughbreds, and then she gave it to my grandfather. Okay. Okay. Well, love the story, actually, because George Ford Morris, at the beginning of the 20th century and for the whole first half, he is really the saddlebred painter. If you have a saddlebred horse, he's the guy you want, no doubt about it. So you do have a study here of Bourbon King. Uh, love the name, by the way. It's perfect for <laughs> Kentucky. Which also ties in with uh, Mrs. Yell, who built Spindletop Hall there in Lexington, of course. And Spindletop, the whole oil wells and everything. Which everyone has been to Spindletop. Um, now... A little about Bourbon King. As you said, he was a top horse. Uh, I believe for six years, maybe even, he was the leading sire of saddlebreds. He was. He was, um, I think one of his titles was the, was the father of the yeah. saddlebred industry. <laughs> he was foaled in 1900, and he, um, apparently he never lost a standard bread class. Interesting. Uh, because also, from both sire lines, both the sire and the dam lines, uh, Wing Commander descended from Bourbon King. And Wing Commander is the Muhammad Ali or Michael <laughs> Jordan of standard bred horses. Saddlebred horses, excuse me. <laughs> a horse person get on me about that. So like you said, you do have a study here. Um, very nicely painted. He was probably doing it for a larger painting. Uh, he did a lot of these. He Actually, in the 50s, he released a book, Portraitures of Horses. This was his thing. At the time, that was the horse art book that had ever been published. And it still might be to this day. Um, so very well known. You do have a few condition issues. Yeah, and it's really just kind of cosmetic. You, know, you can see some dirt here, and it wasn't signed. But um, all in all, a very nice piece. Uh, and perfect for central Kentucky. Um, so, like I said, he's very well known and it really, really just oozes everything that we want here in sporting art there at Crossgate. Now, I guess the reason why you're here is for a value. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, one of his actually Morris has recently sold for 93000 Wow. So <laughs> he is very, very collectible in this market. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to get that high here. <laughs> but for something to come down the family line, you're looking at 1500 to 2000 That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're happy with that. I am. I'm glad you're happy. 